coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Well, let's get a peep at the Easter Sunday forecast shaping up very nicely across the Wabash Valley with temperatures climbing back into the middle 40s by 9 o'clock. We get around lunchtime temperatures climbing into the lower 60s and we'll top out in the upper 60s for our daytime highs. Expecting lots of sunshine out there, so looking excellent for any egg hunts going on across the Wabash Valley. But it is a little bit of a chilly start as temperatures have once again dropped down into the 30s under a clear sky. 36 in Terre Haute and in Paris. It's 38 in Sullivan. 41 right now in Newton. 44 in Mattoon, 43 in Lagodi, and it's currently 38 in Washington. Looking at the Storm Team 10 storm tracker this morning, not much going on across the Wabash Valley. We have some high clouds trying to drift into southwestern parts of the viewing area, and you'll notice more of that cloud cover trying to come in across western Illinois. So as we get into the afternoon, you may notice some high clouds, but I'm really not anticipating too many impacts from that. Maybe just a little bit of filtered sunshine. All in all, a really nice day shaping up for us once again as we finish up the weekend. So what else I'm tracking? We have several sunny days on the way, so it's not just going to be today. We'll see those temperatures gradually warm up as well. But by the time we get to next weekend, that's when we'll bring some changes back to the forecast. That's when a cold front's going to come through, and that'll bring some cooler air by the time we get to about a week from now, and also our next chance of rain. So we're going to stay dry at least through the work week, it looks like, before rain returns to the picture. As we look at the temperature trend over the next five days, again, warm today with temperatures climbing into the upper 60s, well above that average of 60. And as we get into Monday, we'll see those temperatures just steadily rise by a couple degrees. We get into the work week, we're looking at temperatures in the lower to middle 70s. And by the time we get to the end of the week, we'll be in the upper 70s, pushing 80 by the time we get to next Saturday. So we're going to see all that sunshine and a steadily increasing our temperatures. So we look at future cast over the course of our Sunday again. You're going to notice a whole lot of activity out there. Just a few passing clouds as we get into the afternoon. There will be a light breeze out of the east southeast. The sky stays mostly clear as we go into the overnight hours. We'll once again, drop into the upper 30s to around 40 for the lows. And then as we get into the day on Monday, a mix of sun and clouds, pretty much a copy and paste forecast from today with temperatures once again climbing into the upper 60s and lots of sunshine. And we'll fast forward future cast into Tuesday. Much of the same, more sunshine on the way. So if you have any outdoor plans you need to do, any long term outside projects, this week will be a good one to do so because we're expecting sunshine all the way through the work week. So today 68 for that high, sunny and mild with the breeze out of the east southeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then for tonight we'll drop down to 39 under a mostly clear sky. So once again going to be chilly, just a light breeze at about 3 to 6 miles per hour. Tomorrow 69 for the high, another nice day, mostly sunny with the wind out of the south southeast. And as we look at the seven day forecast, again not too much happening on this seven day forecast, which I think we can all enjoy. A nice stretch of some spring like temperatures with highs climbing back into the middle 70s by Wednesday. And then by the time we get to Saturday, that's when we'll see those temperatures pushing 80 and that's when we could start to see that cold front moving through right now. I think the chance of rain would be late on Saturday. Of course, the timing will change between now and then, but expect some cool air by the time we get to this time next week.